Right, and it's now 14 minutes to 7. Want to look at what's making headlines on the dailies. Let's start off with the standard. For the benefit of those who possibly are joining us now, we had already looked at it, but the headline is Raila Brief Moy on Uhuru Handshake. And uh, yes, of course, um, there has been all sorts of narratives as to what this meeting is all about, that Raila is strategizing and, uh, you know, sort of positioning himself. Or uh, it could just be that he went to see him since Moy was in hospital and came back. So uh, Joe Kalende, of course, would like to hold on to that story and that <laughs> narrative, but we beg to differ. Something that we've not highlighted that I think uh, we should look at is Kenya finally gets a gold in yes. the Commonwealth Games. Uh, of course, congratulations to Kenya. So Nerima, uh, looking at Kenya, and we don't seem to be doing that well this time uh, in the Commonwealth no, Games. No, uh, we don't, but um, they were saying it's because it's a junior team, so a lot of the runners are 18, 17, 19, so these are one of their major races. So I think it's a good thing, the fact that they're performing in a major race and still performing not as well as we're used to, but that just means that when Olympics come around, they'll be experienced, mm -hmm. so I still say they're doing a good job. Yeah, and uh, well, the exposure is also good for them. Mm -hmm. There's also on the front page of the standard Standard angry Chiloba sues Chebukati. Joe, uh, this of course doesn't seem to be getting better by the day. And according to this article, Chiloba basically has gone to court to say that uh, his uh, compulsory leave has been unprocedural and is seeking to bar Chebukati or any other of the commissioners from sending him on compulsory leave. Yeah, this is what was going to happen as uh, the moment when. Uh, Chiloba received that uh, email. But as Kenyans, what we really need to answer, what we really need is some kind of accountability, some kind of seriousness from IBC. Mm. We really need IBC to account for the money that was used during the election period, and we really need to see some order in the IBC. I don't know if the courts are going to help or if going to court is going to help, but uh, one, Chebukati needs to put IBC in order, and he really needs to give us a way forward as a country. Because next year, we are, we are, IBC is, up, is tasked by, by its mandate that it's supposed to be doing boundary review. Can we be able to trust IBC to go and uh, do one of some of the serious issues that some of the serious functions that is supposed to do when it's... Already in, in this kind of state. Yeah, yeah. And maybe let's just flip to page 16, and there's an article there, and I don't know if you agree with this, uh, Nerima, why the time's up for Chebukati. But there's also a cartoon that's interesting there uh, that pretty much describes the cartoonist's view of uh, the IEBC as it is right now. So uh, if we can look at that, uh, page 16, and maybe just scroll down to the cartoon at the bottom of uh, page 16, as we hear, Nerima, your comments on do you think that time is up for Chebukati? Um, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that his time is up. It's just that it looks as though their relationship, and which is what that picture depicts, is just they're not on the same brainwave, it looks mm. like, where they're just facing completely different directions. And even though they do a part of a commission where they should be speaking the same language, the same thoughts, they just haven't been. So could it just be, and this is personal, because now even when you look at the issues that they keep bringing up, it just seems like domestic issues. Mm, where, there's a lot of underlying yeah, currents. Yeah, very minor, minor things, not necessarily the whole mandate or the way the commission has but been But isn't conducted. that now where the chairman is supposed to come in and mm -hmm. ensure that he sorts this out? And as a result, then it reflects on his good leadership, leadership or leadership qualities and if IEBC indeed is in the state that this cartoon is describing then we're in trouble mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Joe? yeah yeah uh, one thing I like about the article that uh, why the times up for Chebukati at IEBC as Kenyans it's time that yeah, what this article is trying to express is what Kenyans feel that since IBC cannot, and uh, one Chebukati cannot put his house in order is, is, does it mean that time is up for you yeah that's, that's what, that's what uh, the writer is trying to, to tell us. Mm. And you can see he has gone further and highlighted issues that there are. And the cartoon is trying to, uh, I think the cartoon has just tried to, to, to tell us that what is going on in IBC. Because you can see they are using, <laughs> they are using a hose and it's looking dead. A donkey. Yeah, yeah. A, a, yeah sorry, a donkey. And mm. 
Chilo, Chiloba is looking the other way and the chair who is supposed to be in control, mm. it seems doesn't understand He's why... He's flogging the donkey yeah. to go the wrong direction. doesn't so, understand why the donkey is going yeah. the, the wrong way. You're, so, all question is tied around one person. But if you have a headache, do you chop off your head? You see, that's, that's what we do with IBC. Mm. Uh, we've never had one system where we feel that this commission has done well. We always take off the head, the, 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 the head. Mm. But then we never look at the system and try and see how are ways to improve the system. Mm. We, we automatically blame the head and we, we have the same problem yeah. every time, recurring. Yeah, I'm, I'm, one, I'm one person who has, at least I, I still believe that, we, 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 I believe that we have given IBC enough time to sort out itself. Yeah. So what do we do? Because do you, as, get as disbanded, for now, well, get IBC, <laughs> IBC got into in January and our election was in August. Uh -huh. We can already say that was not enough time. So it, it was yes. not a fair bargain uh, for him uh, after, to start after the process. election. After election, everybody said, so uh, it's okay, there's a handshake, we have no problem with IBC, but now what we are seeing is IBC is on a self-destructive mode. Yeah, that's what IBC is doing. And mm -hmm. Kenyans are still quiet with IBC. But I think by 2019, people again will be demanding this. Yes, people to IBC is Which is why we should be demanding fail. right now and uh, making sure that they put their house in order yeah. yes. at, at this point in time. According to the Craigler report, at least they should be in order at least two years, two years. before the election. Yeah, so let's hope that that's going to be done. But anyway, looking at also the other headlines, we have the Daily Nation and on the headline is Ruto, Waigoro and nasty political fight. And this, of course, uh, was witnessed in Kirinyaga County when Ruto was doing his rounds and and uh, the governor for Kirinyaga, Anne Waigoro, uh, basically came out to say that the woman rep, Wangoi Ngishiri, had sent uh, hooligans basically to heckle her. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to comment I on that. <laughs> I tire, I tire. You get tired. <laughs> In the battle for Kirinyaga. But there you go. We'll wait and see how this is going to pan out. But it looks like... Uh, Somebody would describe, was describing it, I think, on social media, like two ladies who are trying to get the attention of one man. And, of course, this is politically speaking. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, let's, we'll wait and Can see I how that something? goes. Yeah. Do you find it interesting that on the cover of The Nation, it's Ruto in bad light, and then on the standard we have Gideon over here? Do you believe it's coincidence? <laughs> <laughs> just wondering, the, and you're talking about there's no just, race yet. Just, just yeah. throwing it just out throwing there. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> yes. For 2022. <laughs> and I guess that's a point where we're going to leave it at, because, uh, well, thank you very much for joining us. And, uh, well, I'm told there is a cartoon there that we want to finish off with. And, yes, that's uh, the president, the former president, rather, and the former prime minister. And, of course, the, as you can see, it's a puzzle. And we don't quite know which puzzle or what words are going to fill that puzzle, uh, but your guess is as good as mine. Mm -hmm. All right, we're out of time for this segment. It's now four minutes to seven. Neri Mawako Ojiwa and uh, Joe Halende, thank you so much for joining us this week and uh, ensuring that uh, we just go through what is on the dailies. And I wish you all a fantastic and a great weekend and hope to see you again soon right here as we do this again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so it's now five minutes to seven and we are going to take a short break. But on the other side of the break, we do have stories that are making headlines, but also later on we'll be looking at the, at the week that was and basically trying to weigh and put this on the weighing scale uh, what has been happening politically speaking. There's quite a lot. There's the IEBC and uh, the wars that uh, Chiloba has been going through. We also have this uh, now infamous handshake again or the meeting between Raila Odinga and the former president uh, um, uh, Daniel Arab Moy and many other things. So that's all coming up right here on Morning Express.